Shalom. This is your brother Shamak. I have the great millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory. Infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, or Chakurash. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name, and his only begotten son's true name being Yahweh Shai, whom the in the Hebrew tongue, whom the world incorrectly calls God and Jesus Christ. I also want to give double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites in these last days. I also want to give a shalom to our sincere brothers as put teaching his truth worldwide, and shalom to our sincere listeners and you sincere believers. Here with a video concerning the tribe of Issachar, all right, who would be your Mexicans today, okay? And starting with the um, Genesis chapter 49 concerning Bible prophecy, all right, because this is Bible prophecy, and where this uh, and concerning Genesis chapter 49, the prophecy all right, before, uh, foretold of where these tribes would mainly inhabit it in these last days. All right, where, they, where these tribes would exist or be mainly inhabited predominantly. Okay, Also, considering that the 12 tribes are also scattered worldwide. Okay, But this is, uh, you see the subject says, says, Israel's prophecy concerning his sons. All right? Because the lineage is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Jacob had, the, had 12 sons, and those being the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay? Or making up the 12 tribes of Israel, I could say. But this is Genesis chapter 49, starting at verse 1. And it reads, And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days, or what these tribes will be in the last days, man, which we're living in now. Are we getting closer and closer to the return of Yahweh Shai, whom the world incorrectly calls Jesus Christ? Okay? Verse 2. It says, gather yourselves together in here, ye sons of Jacob, and hearken unto Israel your father. You know, gather, hey, wake up. It's time for the Israelites to wake up. All right, it's time, it's time for the tribe of Issachar to even wake up even more. Okay, hearken unto the truth. Hearken unto Israel. Hey, Israel, all right, going to the term or name, you know, uh, Jacob's name was changed to Israel in Genesis chapter 32, verse 28. All right. He, uh, Yasha Allah, he prints power. Okay, but skipping on down to the tribe of Issachar in verse 14, this is Genesis chapter 49, verse 14. Okay, and it reads, Issachar is a strong ass couching down between two burdens. Now, first, okay, it says Issachar is a strong ass couching down between two burdens. First, get the name Issachar in the Hebrew from the 12 tribes of Israel. All right, the name Issachar meaning. He is hired and pronounced Yash Shakar. All right. And you see the ancient Paleo Hebrew characters there on the right. So Issachar. All right. Meaning he is hired Yash Shakar. Okay. All right. So back to Genesis chapter 49, verse 14. All right. So I'm going to it says Issachar is a strong ass couching down between. Two burdens, all right. A strong ass, an ass is a is what is what animal? A donkey, okay. And it says couching down between two burdens, going into two land masses, okay. But first, I wanted to harp on that that donkey aspect. Just a simple search, okay. It's, it's uh from animal hype, donkey symbolism, and spiritual meaning, all right. And the first, I guess, yeah, truly, really, the first sentence, it says the donkey is a very strong symbolic animal that represents the spirit. Of hard work, good manners, and determination. It says, although a donkey is often seen as an unintelligent animal, this notion is wrong. All right, but I just wanted to hop on the spirit representing hard work, good manners, and determination. All right, now what group of people does that truly remind you of, man? Truly, it, it, it truly, it, process of elimination, the Mexicans, man. All right, think upon, think upon who's cutting the grass, the lawn care. All right. Cutting down trees, man. You know? Building houses. All right, quickly. All right, building damn near anything. All right, construction. It's a car, man, mainly. All right. And it goes and it and it backs it backs up the the, the name that it has. Yashakar. Okay? Yash Shakar. All right. He is hired. All right. That backs up that that brings the point home. He's a strong ass couching down. That word ethic is is not matched, man. C concerning uh, um uh, amongst the tribes, you know, amongst truly amongst the world, all right. Good manners and, and determination, all right. So there you have it, man. That strong ass couch down between those two land masks. Um, to get the Mexico map, 
to show you between North America, United States of America, all right, and Central America. All right, you see those borders between two burdens going to those that, those two land masses, all right? So back to Genesis 49, verse 14, one more time. Issachar is a strong ass couching down between two burdens, all right? Yashakar, all right? And of course, it takes faith, you know, and it, and it does. The foundation is faith. It takes faith to believe in the 12 tribes of Israel. It takes faith to, to believe that the, the Lord foretold or what these tribes will be in the last days on the on this side of the earth, man. All right. Awakening, also awakening to their tribes, awakening to the truth of the Bible, you know? All right. And then and also being very detailed and specific of where these tribes will be and the characteristics that they will have. All right. Then but it takes faith to ultimately believe in it. Because without faith, you know, a you know, is it's without effect, you know. But so it says Issachar is a strong ass couching down between two burdens. And then we went into that strong ass being a donkey, strong donkey, man. Symbolism being that hard work, good manners and, and determination between two burdens, between those two lands. All right. Verse 15. And the reason he saw that the rest was good in the land, that it was pleasant. Mexico is definitely a pleasant. Area. You see everyone um damn near goes there for on these on these facade vacations, man. It says that the land that. It's like in the land that it was pleasant and bowed his shoulder to bear and became a servant unto tribute. Okay? Became that servant. He is hired, man. It was set in prophecy for it to take place. You know? And that and that um being that servant came through uh of the Mexicans being colonized, man. All right, or truly the tribe of Issachar, man, being colonized. Just to get a um you get the spot this the Spanish conquest of the Aztec Empire. The reason you, you know that group of people you know speak Spanish today, you know? The same way we speak English because of our oppressors, man, because of Esau Edom. Alright? But this is the um the Spanish conquest of the Aztec Empire, also known as the conquest of, of Mexico or the Spanish Aztec War. Um it says it was was one of the primary events from the fifteen hundreds. In the Spanish colonization of the Americas, there are multiple 16th century narratives of the events by Spanish conquistadors, their indigenous allies, and the defeated Aztecs. It was not solely a contest between a small contingent of Spaniards defeating the Aztec Empire, but rather the creation of a coalition of Spanish invaders with tributaries to the Aztecs and most especially the Aztec indigenous enemies and rivals. All right. The Spanish invaders, man, we, hey, we were a... Hey, the same way we were uh, oppressed and colonizing in the Americas, man. United States of America by the so-called white man. The same took place concerning the Aztecs and, and, those, and those Mexicans, man. All right. All right. It says, and they, they combined forces to beat the the, the uh, Mexica of the Tino Chilin. If I'm pronouncing that correctly, Tino Ch Chilin. Over a two-year period for the Spanish, the exposition of to Mexico was part of a project of Spanish colonization of the New World after 25 years of permanent Spanish settlement and further exploration in the Caribbean. All right. So that goes into that, you know, those uh, of the tribe of Issachar being a full-fledged a full -fledged servant, man. Okay. To those to those damn Spanish conquerors through their, through their Spanish conquests. All right. But it was set up in prophecy. For these things to take place, because the, the the Lord already already had it set for uh to, or predestined to happen, preordained, you know, for these events to take place, but also for us to be for it to be a sign to the Israelites right now to, for for them to wake up, all right, because the, all the twelve tribes are going to get revenge, man. Thus said the Lord, all right, not on our own terms, but on the Lord's terms, man. Okay, so uh, going back just to reread uh those two verses one more time. This is Genesis chapter 49, verse 14. Issachar is a strong ass couching down between two burdens. And he saw that the rest was good in the land that it was pleasant and bowed his shoulder to bear and became a servant unto tri uh, to tribute. Okay, so that strong ass couching down, just to reiterate, all right, going to that donkey, symbolizing that hard work. Okay, who, hey, the, the Mexicans are no doubt hard workers, man. All right, no one in the, in the world would disagree with that. All right. And that's a, that's their that's their characteristic. That's their spiritual characteristic for for the uh, other tribes to realize, man. All right, for for the truly for the world to see. All right, it says between two burdens, those two lands. All right, as it's shown on the map of the United States of America and Central America. 
based in North America and Central America. Okay, you can also include South America since it's under Central America. But all right, but that um, but that should mainly cover uh the tribe of Issachar, you know, and Lord willing, you know, it was helpful in understanding, you know, um, the so-called Mexicans today truly being descendants of the tribe of Issachar, okay, or in the Hebrew Yashakar, okay, Yashakar, okay, he is hired, man. The name goes right along with their spirit. Okay, it's not a the Lord made made it made the truth uh plainly to those that believe. He made it plain. Okay, so Lord willing, you know that lesson was edifying and also encouraging. All right, especially to you the tribe of Issachar, to you so called Mexicans today. All right, it's time for a wake uh, a wake up. All right, Yahweh Shai is coming back. Repent or wake up. Repent. Turn back to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Shmiah Shai. Yahweh Shai is about to return. Okay, so I will end off by giving all the glory. Infinite praises unto Yahweh by Shmiah Shai by Hashem or Chakurash. All right, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Okay, and Shalom. Keep the faith. Shalom.